welcome to Art with Val. This is my camera here, having a bit of an issue today. Uh, anyway, I have to ask you, do you ever go out to your studio without a plan, just a need to paint? Well, I do. And that's where we're at today. So just a little background on that. Um, I do. I go out to my studio sometimes with absolutely no plan. And my hands will start grabbing paints off the shelf. And um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I just know I did to use them. Right? So uh, we'll see how this goes. So anyway. Um... I have my pillow paint here for this. Um, again, no plan, just knew that I wanted to use it. Then I'm using um, Prussian Blue by Arteza. And uh, the Brilliant Blue Artist Loft. Artist Loft Turquoise, Amsterdam White, okay, um, Soho, uh, and this is Manganese Blue, kind of pretty, right, just trying out the Soho paints, um, they're brand new to me, so. And then Liquitex Basics, the dioxazine purple. All right, so um, we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna put, uh, use my pillow paint for um, the base. And um, we'll get that on there. And this is gonna be a, mm, straight slash dirty pour. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So here we go. I've got a 16 by 20 canvas here. And we'll just get a base on there. See how that goes. Paint's flowing good. Sorry, you can't see that. So my um, pouring medium, because I think that is very, very important to share with you, um, took me a while to get here. Um, my pouring medium is 60% Floetrol, uh, 20% GAC 800 and 20% Liquitex gloss varnish. Makes a huge difference. Now, if you're on a budget, don't worry about it. You don't have to use that. Um, but if you're trying everything and you're like, why uh, do my pieces not look like everyone else's, etc. cetera. Um, experiment with, um, with your uh, pouring medium, definitely. And if you can, you know, spend the money to um, use what you need to use to get the effect that you want. Alright, so one second. Okay. So 
Get this cup layered here. Let's see if I can get you. Let me just move this over a little bit and uh, get this on camera. I'm starting with the Prussian blue. And then the brilliant blue. Turquoise. It's a big cup. I am pouring from, um, I'm not trying to pour down the side. I am trying to mix my colors. Taking a little chance on that and uh, doing some experimenting here. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm just using some of the uh, Amsterdam white in between just to kind of separate my colors. Um, because I think if I do that, I will get the effect that I want. So my, um, these are all beautiful colors and I just want them to kind of dance together, so. A little more white. Now the white, I don't know if you noticed, it's hard for you to see, sorry about that, but um, I'm pouring from up above so that it, it is uh, kind of you know, going down into the other colors, um, which is what I want for this piece. And it's a little bit thinner so that it will um, do that for me. Hoping that this white will just give me the effect that I want for this. These colors are you know, very similar, um, all darker colors. And I'm hoping the white will just kind of complement um, a little bit more the white, just a little. The colors are sitting in the cup exactly the way I want. Um, I really like this brilliant blue um, by Artist Loft. So, using a little more than that. Uh, more of that color than the other ones. This is the Soho uh, Manganese Blue, which is very similar um, to a turquoise, but darker. All right. So hopefully I've got just enough contrast in here to give me the look that I'm going for. some more of this brilliant blue, which is really pretty. Okay. 
I want the white to come out first. So. And then, just to be daring, I am going to put the rest of my Prussian blue in the middle here. So doing an experiment today. There we go. So here we go. We'll see how it goes here. Plenty of paint here. I love the way it's coming out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. go. <clears throat> so let's give that just a little torch and then uh, we'll see what it wants to do. I did think I would see more white. white come out at this point, but paint is moving great. Look at that. I'm just going to take my time with this. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. Let's go down here. Okay. And back very slowly. You want to bring your paint back to the center before you move on. Um, that's a very important. So I'm just going to go down to this other corner. That's where the weight of the paint is behind there. So there we go. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So back to the center. Very slowly. Okay. I am trying to stretch out uh, my lines, so. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. Back. And then we'll get that other corner and check out the composition from there. All right. This settle for just a second here and check it out. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. And I came out here with no plan at all uh, as far as colors, uh, technique, nothing. And sometimes I think you just have to do that. I mean, if you really love what you're doing, just do it. Um, 
That's the beauty of art. Just do it. All right, so what I think is that I want to move this over. Um, I really like this corner here, both of these corners, but uh, I think we need to center just a bit. I want to stretch out the other side. So we'll go a little bit and see how it goes, huh? I've got a lot of the Prussian blue um, coming through over here. So I just wanna kind of balance that a little bit. And, okay, so I'm not sure what's going on here with the uh, white, this little kind of lacing there. Hmm. But I'm not liking it. It's not really what I'm looking for in this piece. So we're just going to move it back a little bit. strange. No. There we go. Now let's get rid of that. Okay. And uh, we've got a lot going on here. Huh? Some pearls going on. Um, so right here also, if you can see that. Um, I don't care for that. Let's just move it a little bit, just a little. Great. And then, okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love it. I still, I'm not sure what's going on with my white over here, but I think, hmm. Wow, this is beautiful. I think I'll give it a torch before I do anything else with it. And just check it out a bit. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. How pretty is that? Do you see what's going on here? Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous, look at that, look at the pearls. I was not expecting that. Um, hmm. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think, without gloves here, I need to get rid of this in here. See this white? Gotta be done. And that's okay because it is going exactly the way I want it to. So, there we go. I, I love the pearls. Um, oh my gosh. So, I know, I love galaxies, but this is so beautiful. I love it. Um, I think it's going to um, continue to do this for a bit. So what I like to do is give it a few minutes and then 
um, I will bring you back in for uh, a closer look. Um, and, I, you know, again, this is amazing because it's off the cuff. Like, I had no plan. And um, I, I don't know about you, but for me, that is the draw for me. This The surprises that... what happens when we least expect it, right? So I'm gonna give this a few minutes and then we'll see what's going on. See you in just a minute. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes, um, five to seven minutes. And I will always be honest with you, um, I was not expecting the pearls um, that you see here, uh, which is very cool. It is, it's very cool, but, um, and I know what I did to get it. This was an experiment. Um, but honestly, I would like this piece so much better without them. I mean, look at that. It is absolutely gorgeous um, without the pearls. Look at this. I mean, this is gorgeous. But I like it. I, I still, I like it very much. Um, it was just uh, a surprise, but now I know um, what I did to do that, and uh, so I can control that. Anyway, here it is. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So... I mean, if you if you want my recipe for my pillow paint, um, my pouring medium, anything like that, um, I will, of course, um, include that in the uh, description. But if there's anything else you want to know, let me know, and I will put it all out there. There you have it. Wow. You know what you think. Cheers. Okay, guys. Um, I brought you back because I had mentioned that I was not going for the pearls. Um, and they are cool. I want to acknowledge that. But not what I was going for here. So... Um, there's one little area here, as you can see, uh, right there, um, that, you know, I could not get off the canvas, but now I am so happy with it. I mean, look at this, like this is exactly what I was going for, uh, on this particular piece, um. So let me, sorry about the movement here, but um, I really like this just as it is right now. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just a beautiful night galaxy with all the millions of stars and it's absolutely gorgeous i just did not want the pearls so um anyway let me know what you think about that maybe i'm just uh you know not looking at it the right way but yeah i'm not happy with the little white spot there but it is what it is and i love it so much better um, without the pearls um, all around the edges and uh, and stuff. So, yeah. I'm interested in knowing what you think about, you know, what I did. Um, 
So yeah, cheers.